All right, y'all, before this video starts, if you were the 2,000 people that watched my last video, I ended up taking it down. This is a completely new video, okay? I just wasn't happy with the last video that I posted, and I felt like it was rushed. So this is a completely new video on this game, and I can definitely say it's going to be better edited and well-made, all right? Hopefully, y'all enjoy. Believe it! Look, bitch, it's the rap game, Hokage. My bitch is a tension, but I cut it all soon out Fuck up out of my face. Hey. Tell him, give me my space. Hey. My girl, let me ask say your hey. bitch feel like the what right cock all right, y'all, you already know the drill. If you love Demon Slayer, you must like the video right now, all right? I'm giving you five seconds. Yo, 73% of you guys aren't even subscribed to the channel that are watching right now, so it'd mean a lot if you could hit that red button, all right? I'm trying to get to 80K as soon as possible. I am grateful that I just hit 75K, so let's keep grinding. All right, y'all, so this game is set to be released on July 25th, so don't worry about it, all right? I am uploading this video, like, two days before release. The owners of the game are working really hard to, you know, come out with a good finished product, and so far, it's looking real clean, bro. I know there's barely anybody in the server, but when there was a full server, y'all, there were no lag issues at all. The FPS is fine, obviously. Like, everything about this game is smooth. So when you actually spawn in, you actually spawn in somewhere, like, over there, and it pretty much tells you to go to Tondro. Once you go to Tondro right here, Tondro's right here. He tells you to pick up a katana. And from here on out, you pretty much just do these quests. You can see there's certain levels that you have to be on these quests. And I do need to hurry up and do this one quest before it turns morning, obviously. I think it's this one right here, right? Yeah. So you have to slay nine weak demon, as you can see. Obviously, you can only slay the weak demons at night. So <laughs> you, you need to hurry up and do these quests at night before they actually end. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get it. Oh, Oh my god we're already getting pieced up dude come here boy you can see right here though the animations are really smooth in this game y'all and i'm gonna be comparing this game to oni kiri and rose slayers because those were the most you know relevant most recent demon slayer games to come out on roblox <laughs> rip demon journey hey man shout out demon journey but i don't want to compare demon journey to this game because i just feel like demon journey is just in its own genre and that's not a bad thing demon journey was a great game so i'm not going to be comparing demon journey to any of these games though i am going to be comparing rose slayer and onikiri though so as in terms of mob grinding and quest grinding this game is definitely better than onikiri because as you can see right here there's no lag and what really made onikiri like bad in a way was how laggy the servers were and then the mobs were just so hard to kill like they did so much damage they had so much health and because of lag issues you kind of didn't just hit them most of the time so they would just destroy you and you're gonna do nothing about it because they had so much health at the same time too but as you can see in this game it's pretty simple to just grind mobs there's no lag they don't do all your hp bar you know they're quite relatively easy to kill as you can see and i'm not sure what levels do yet besides um being able to do new quests i'm pretty sure it secretly buffs your health every single time you level i'm not sure yet but yeah so far there's not really a stat point system in this game i'm not sure if there ever will be but for now yeah i don't really know what levels do you can see though, I mean, the animations are really just smooth in this game. Like, the base combat's really good. In the next clip I'll show you, I'll show you a PvP of me and my boy Nate PvPing. Like, it's really fun to PvP in this game. And that's really just because there's no lag in this game so far. Like, if you want me to like a Roblox game, quick tip for you developers who watch my videos, man. Make sure the game does not lag. I will always like a Roblox game that has smooth ping, bro. Do not give me a goddamn product with bad ping, because... Yeah, that's just not it, Chief. How the game aesthetically feels, too, and just, like, how it looks visually is really awesome, too. You can see it's nighttime right now, but there's snow. Just wait until it transitions into the snow, y'all. I don't think y'all have seen that yet, but, like, the transitions in this game are really good. And, like, the climate changes in this game are really awesome, too, because it doesn't even generate lag. Usually games like these where there's, like, you know... It looks good visually it'll usually lag but this game does not lag at all so i mean this is all you literally want in a demon slayer game this game looks good visually it has nice animations it doesn't lag at all i just can't wait to try out breathing styles in this game i'm going to get flame breathing style it's not out yet but once the game fully releases it will be out so i won't be showing any breathing styles for now i'm pretty sure thunder water and uh mist i believe i forget I, or it's probably wind i'm not sure but there's three breathing styles out currently to test right now i'm not gonna get those though because obviously i want the flame breathing style when it comes out 
all right man well we're just walking around the map you can see right here just show you guys how it looks i mean the game is smooth bro look at this <laughs> like it just looks awesome bro like you can't tell me hey the maneuver system in this game too is really cool you can see i'm jumping over stuff I gotta see if there's a level 9 quest anywhere. I wanna get to level 10 so I can show you guys the JoJo quest. It's really, really awesome to do the JoJo quest. Well, I don't know if it's awesome, but it was funny that I saw one. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to this girl. Level 9. Alright, so now we have to kill um, two of each. Alright, so I gotta kill a weak demon and then slightly weak demons. Slightly weak demons are stronger than weak demons, by the way. They're actually located over here. That's another thing, too. I totally forgot to compare this game and Rose Slayer and the Department of the Mission System, okay? It's way better than Rose Slayer's the Mission System already just because of the fact that it shows a targeter. Y'all remember when Rose Slayer's first release? That game, bro, you were literally playing a maze with that game. You could not see anything. Like, you had to explore that map to find everything in that game. But in this game, it makes it easy for you. And it looks like demons. Oh, my God. Yo, we're getting pieced up. Oh, my God. We're actually getting... St Yo. Hey, bro, we don't talk about that, but look, watch me piece them up. Oh, my God, please. No, 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 no. Hold up. Let me just... There we go. All right. And then let's block. There's also a block meter in this game, by the way, as you can see right there. So, that's pretty cool. Okay, hold up. Ow, 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 ow. So, there's a block meter in this game, which is really nice. Um, I'm not a fan of it, but I'm not opposed to it either. So, I'm just going to see how that actually works in PvP. Obviously, the only game that I've ever played that had a block meter in it was shinobi life so that's pretty cool um looks like we have to kill four slightly weak demons though yeah back to what i was saying though this game has easier grinding than oni carry or i shouldn't say easier i mean yeah it is easier but not in the sense that like oh i'm just a baby and oni carry was too hardcore for me that wasn't the case at all oni carry was just toxic in general to grind and like anybody could tell you that but i'm not saying that oni carry is going to be a bad game because that boy marco is coming strong y'all all right from what i heard that new oni carry revamp is gonna be nice bro it's gonna be nice so be on the lookout for oni carry too don't sleep on that on the other hand though i don't know about rose slayers i think that game is just hot doo doo like that game is just dead now <laughs> it was good while it lasted i guess but um yeah, Rose Slayers, I don't know about you, buddy. All right, as you can see, it's starting to snow now, which really sucks because I was actually looking forward to completing my quest. But obviously, since it's snowing now, there's no demon, so we'll just have to cancel that quest. <laughs> That's the thing about this game. If you're doing demon quests, you better make sure you do it as fast as possible because if you don't, man, oh, man, you're going to have some troubles completing quests, at least demon-related quests, that is. Anyways, we're level 10 now, though, so I can show you guys the JoJo quest. But yeah, man, look at this, bro. Like, doesn't the snow look nice? Doesn't create any lag issues either. And man, <laughs> I can't emphasize this enough. Moving in this game, maneuvering around the map in general is just really fun, man. It's really fun. But you can see right here, Giorno's right here. Like, bro, wrong anime, my dukes. But let's go ahead and uh, talk to you since we're level 10 now. That boy just said he came from an alternate universe. What a goddamn clown, bro. Anyways, it looks like we're actually fighting Diablo. All right, so wall climbing in this game is pretty easy too. You pretty much just spam space and you can just get up like this. As you can see, they make it pretty simple for y'all. You literally just spam space to wall climb like this. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, God. We just hit the plateau. All right, y'all. After ages of exploring, we finally meet our most powerful foe, Super Weak Diablo. Wow. <laughs> so I guess there's going to be stronger versions of him in the future, but you can see right here. That boy is not super weak to me. Shoot. Dude has so much health. Wait, let's let's let him do a full combo on us and see what he actually does. Okay, he hits fast, but he doesn't actually use anything. And he doesn't actually drain your block bar, so you could low-key just cheese him. Oh god. Oh my god. A few moments later. Alright, so rule number one, you definitely don't want him comboing you up, alright? You definitely want the first hit so you could just go ham on him. As you can see right there, this game actually does have a five hit combo so when you m1 five times which is your left mouse button it ends on the fifth hit so what you want to do is m1 four times and then on your last hit you want to m2 which is your right mouse button because what that does is it keeps them like in the area so that you could potentially infinite combo you'll see what i mean let me just go up there and uh beat him real quick all right here he is i'm gonna go ahead and left mouse button four t oh what the hell Okay, so I'm going to left mouse button four times and then right click on the fifth hit. 
so then it, it kind of like keeps him in place because if i was to knock him back you kind of just can't infinite combo him right like he has a chance of fighting you back if you wanted to but if you right mouse button you can see right here it's easier to just keep him in your combo All right, there we go. We got two levels from that. You can see the grinding in this game isn't bad either. You have to actually be level 30 before going to the final selection, which is all the way over here, I believe. I wish it would stop snowing so I could see the map better. I'm pretty sure the snow actually fogs up your vision, but the final selection should be all the way here, right? Yeah, you can see right there. Final selection's right there. You talk to an NPC, which you have to be level 30 in to do the final selection. You can do it with your friends, but right now, it's really hard by yourself. So if you want to solo it, better be prepared because it is pretty hard. So you might as well just do it with your friends when the actual game comes out. I'm going to show you guys the moves on NPC real quick too. Let me just jump down here. There's no fall damage as you can see. Oh my god. Climate change real fast with that, dude. <laughs> it's raining now. That kind of scared me. Not going to cap to you, Cappington. You can see right here though there's a moves on npc like i said i'm not sure if this turns you into a demon or not but you have to be level 15 i believe so if you talk to him can i talk to you please there we go he says hmm would you like to become a demon i'll make you a demon but you only have a 36 percent chance of succeeding you would lose everything including your level when you take that chance. oh nice i think you actually have to be level 10 for it because i remember before I was level 10, or I was like level 7 when I talked to him, and he said that come back to me when you were higher leveled. I'm pretty sure it was actually level 10, but you can actually become a demon in the game. You just have to be level 10 though, but you lose all your stats, and there's only a chance of you becoming a demon. So, I mean, it's really not the worst thing in the world considering that you only have to grind up to level 10. That's pretty easy. So, even if you don't become a demon and get your stats wiped, you can just grind to level 10 again and keep trying. So, becoming a demon can be tedious if your luck is bad. Since there was only like a 36% chance of you becoming a demon, you might have to try it a few times unless you're actually lucky. This is probably going to be my flame breathing account. I plan on becoming a demon on my main. So, yeah, let's go crazy. Alright, I'm about to go ahead and what one, one my boy Nate. One of the co-owners of the game. We're going to see how the combat's like. I'm not sure if he actually has a breathe. Oh, my God. Already getting folded, dude. Oh, he perfect block. That was nice. That was clean, dude. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. Dodge those. Okay. Yeah, see, the Q dashing is weird. Like, I'm not sure. Ooh, did we perfect block them? Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got him on the edge, bruh. Okay. Ow. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. About to knock him. I wonder what happens when you knock people. Come here, boy. I'm not sure if you get anything. All right, yeah, so the PvP is really smooth in this game. Really, really smooth. I'm not sure how it's going to be like, like I said again, with breathing styles yet, but base combat, really smooth. No lag issues at all. All right, so when you click on the store, I might as well show you guys what you get. You get extra XP for an hour, breathing style reset, and a katana color reroll. Now, as you can see right here, they're only giving you 25% extra XP. Now, I can see their reasoning behind it. It's just because this game in general isn't really pay to win like leveling in this game is just easy in general you can see from that jojo quest i mean i got a good two levels off of it it's not like final stand where you had to wait several days if you were like a player that didn't buy two times xp you'd have to wait several days to level by doing your daily quest like this game is not like that at all and i'm getting pieced up by this weak demon let me stop talking before i get pieced up but like i was saying though this game even if you don't buy the xp boost it's just like really easy to level in general so i think that's why they didn't give you the option to get two times xp because two times xp would be really like just way too broken for this game because you would just be speeding through levels so fast so i think 25 percent extra xp is you know reasonable just because of the fact that i mean they're not really encouraging you to buy it in the first place because it's already easy to level like there's really no reason to get 25 percent extra xp unless you just want to have that extra leveling advantage other than that though i just feel like it's not necessary in general because i mean yeah you can just level up in this game really easy 
you know they're not really giving you low exp rewards for each mission so it's really just fine all right so we're fighting this demon right now and it looks like he is actually tankier than diablo from what it seems so he might be some trouble now i'm playing oh my god whoa holy crap this dude actually has abilities. We got to be careful. Yeah, this dude is no joke. We got to hurry up and kill him fast. And he doesn't even burn in the sunlight too. Let me find out this dude is actually God tier. Now, let me stop. But yeah, you can see right here. I mean, if you just simply just trap him into the combo before he could actually use his abilities, you should be fine. And even then, his abilities didn't even do that much damage. So we're fine. I think Diablo. Oh my God. Never mind. I think he does like the same damage as Diablo. His abilities just didn't do much. But his, uh, his left mouse buttons kind of do hurt. Yeah, he's definitely tankier than Diablo, though. Jesus Christ, this is time-consuming. Oh, my God. Yo, relax, buddy boy. All right, there we go. We finally leveled, and damn, that gave you so much XP. Yeah, see, back to the topic of how non-pay-to-win players can still level up really fast in this game, so... I mean, unless you really want to, you can buy the 25% extra XP if you want. I don't think it's necessary unless you really, like, want to. Just, like, let's say if you're trying to get Demon and your luck is bad, then you might want to buy that so you can get to level 10 as soon as possible and keep getting to level 10 just in case you can't ever roll Demon. Or maybe you want to get to level 30 as quick as possible, too, like if you're a YouTuber or something. Because you do need to get to level 30 before actually doing the final selection and getting your breathing style and whatnot. All right, man, that's going to be it for this video. As you can see, this game is going to be really clean. I just, like, hope it doesn't lag on release, y'all. Like, this game's going to be perfect if it doesn't lag on release. Everybody always enjoys a Demon Slayer game that doesn't lag. A game that doesn't even lag in general. I know you guys are definitely going to be having fun with your friends grinding this game. Because I am too. Alright, I can't wait to see y'all when the full game actually opens. I'm going to make so many videos on this game. Because there's going to be breathing styles, demon art styles. Like, there's going to be so much to record on this game, alright? The Demon Slayer Nano content-wise is back, bro. I'm happy to say that it's back. But if y'all did enjoy the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Other than that, it's been your boy Nano, and I'm out. Have a great one. All I gotta do is put my mind to this shit. Goddamn. Cancel out my ex, I put a line through that bitch. I like all my asses with two lines.